Now let's get into the nose of it all. Tell me about this new nose. I know you'd been wanting to get it for a while now. Yes. And you know what? I know it looked wackadoo in the first episode and I was expecting as much. I mean, you know, when we got the schedule, I had already booked my uh, surgery. So I was like, oh my God, when we start filming, I'm going to be like five weeks out. And then I was thinking, you know, I'm not planning on hiding it. So maybe I could just have my journey while everybody watches. Um, it didn't start off so good. Not going to lie. It did look kind of crazy. Wackadoo. I have the same. Everybody's opinions that I have read. I feel you. I hear you. Um, uh, but you know what? I feel like it's settled in really nicely. And these things, you have to give it a year. You do. And with any type of plastic surgery, I would know. Yes, <laughs> I, I know firsthand. Well, and, and you also got your, your chin done. So I got a chin implant because this, like, they just give you this like hoopla that aesthetically there's like a mathematical ratio that your profile has to be your chin and your nose have to be parallel to each other I mean I don't know the chin is settling in I still want to take it out Bill is encouraging me to wait one year um, because the nose has settled in but I don't know if I really needed a chin implant you know at that point I was just listening to the doctor's recommendation and Bill also had the same recommendation. So when I had two doctors telling me, and then I was talking to my sister and then I found out that she had a chin implant. And then I was talking to my brother, Steven. And then I found out he had a chin implant. And I was like, oh my God, if like three, if like two out of my three siblings have chin implants and then two doctors are telling me I need a chin implant, I think I'm gonna get a chin implant. But you know what? I don't think I needed a chin implant. Well, I, I think you look great. How do you feel about your tweets today? You know what? It's all about like tweaking. It's all about the journey. You know, like sometimes if it doesn't work out the first time, maybe I'll I'll think about a revision in the future. I'm I'm not against it at this point. Like right now, I'm I'm happy with everything the way that it looks. So we'll see. But I'll let you know once something happens that you could be sure of. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mentioned uh, the opinions you hear online and social media. Charles love to comment on plastic surgery. How do you deal with the criticism? Um, you know what? I'm just an extremely secure and confident person. And I have my opinions. And in my book, my opinions are the only ones that matter to me and everyone's entitled to them. So with all due respect, go ahead, have all your opinions that you want. I just don't believe you or agree with you. Does that go for your castmates as well? It goes for everything. It really goes for everything in my life. Like you don't need to like me. Um, I I'd encourage you to meet me first and see if you do. And if you still don't, I can respect that because I like me. I love it. I love it. Now with a new nose and a new chin came a reconciliation with your mom, which was so great and wonderful to hear about. How does it feel to have made amends with your mom while in Turkey? Oh my God. It was so, it was so great. I mean, you know, it was just it was the longest that we had ever gone without talking. Uh, it's the biggest fight that we ever were in. And it, you know, I am the glue that holds my family together. And by her and I not engaging or interacting, she wasn't seeing the kids as much. Um, so, you know, I, I felt that she was very alone and I didn't like that. I didn't like that she wasn't around me or the kids and everything always was going on in my house. And then we had to like split a holiday. Easter came around and I'm like, this is just not working for us. And it's better when we all get along. So I was grateful that we were able to just move past it. You know, sometimes like discussing things with somebody that you know, you're not gonna come to any kind of agreement. It's better to not discuss it and just be okay with what it is. And just like accept that you cannot change these things and just learn how to deal with it. How is your relationship with her today? I mean, today it's great. It's like, oh, it's back to normal. You know, I'm back in her good graces and she's back in mine. And she uh, had cancer, actually. She had breast cancer. We, we discovered um, in October that she had breast cancer. And in December, uh, actually a week before Christmas, she had a lumpectomy where we removed the breast cancer and she was recovering at my house. So she stayed with me for a month. And, you know, my dad lives with me, but... Thankfully, the house is big enough where they could both stay on each other's sides. So I have a little office den right here behind my great room that I set up for her like a little mother suite. 
and she was here and she got to see the kids every day. And I really feel that uplifted her spirits, put her in a good mindset. And um, we're going to start radiation now. That's the next um, thing that we have to do. Bone density. It's a lot. It's a lot health wise for me to have to take on because my mom can't read and write English. I don't know if you know this. My mom grew up in the villages of Turkey and really only, only went to school up until fifth grade. So for her doctor's appointments, somebody's going to have to go and manage all that. And it's going to be me.